This is probably how you start your day. Our world is reliant on energy, and most of the time, we don't even think about it. In school, we've learned about different ways to get energy, but what other ways are there? What is hydraulic fracturing, and does it harm the environment? Will our generation run out of energy? We realized that we didn't know much about energy, and we needed answers. So we left Milan and headed to Ann Arbor. We met with the director of the University of Michigan's Energy Institute to learn more. Hey candidates, let's talk about energy. So what is fracking? Fracking is a process of drilling into the ground and injecting millions of gallons of water to break down shale rocks that contain natural gas. One of the main concerns of fracking are the chemicals involved. Industry made, I think, a, a, a fundamental error in a, a law that was passed known as the Halliburton loophole in which uh, the additives that were put into frac fluid were held in secret. And of course, any time you keep a secret, why that creates a public distrust. But the fact is, we probably all shampooed our hair this morning, and the amounts of the stuff in your shampoo aren't listed on the bottle either. Oh, and by the way, the stuff in the shampoo isn't all that different from the kinds of things that are going into the fracking fluid. So, so what other problems with fracking are there? Uh, you know, we, we talk about fracking and the problems associated with fracking. Most are associated with well integrity. If you can build a well right, if you can get the cementing and, and the steel right, uh, you're not going to have those problems. And we need more investment in energy infrastructure of both renewables and traditional resources. Uh, this is something that in the last generation in the U.S. we seem to have gotten away from. Just look at the state of our roads in Michigan. <laughs> Um, you know, and, and we're worried about the, uh, the the pipeline that carries crude oil under the Straits of Mackinac. That pipeline's 60 years old. The pipeline that ruptured in Mayflower, Arkansas a couple of years was 60 years old. The one that ruptured at Kalamazoo, Michigan uh, about five years ago was at least 40 and, and probably more. Americans operate under the assumption that we're running out of energy, but are we? Thanks to fracking and other things, we really have an abundance of cheap uh, uh, fossil fuels. We cannot afford to use them for climate reasons. And so that's really the challenge, is to bring alternatives and renewables online while the cheap and easy solutions are, are, are easy to come by. So I, I worry a lot less about running out of gas or oil or coal in my lifetime or yours mm -hmm. than in the uh, climate impacts of continuing to use them in the way that we have done really for the last century. To make a larger impact on climate change, our country needs more renewable power. Natural gas plants can serve as an ideal partner to intermittent renewables like solar and wind because they can come online and power down quickly. Our country needs to reduce our carbon footprint. While using renewables might be the best way to save the planet, some people are concerned about financing them. You know, they are, they are economically competitive, but sometimes not quite or not by a wide enough margin. So I think there is still a need for, for government to, to have a, a finger on the scales to help make sure that the, the progress continues. As you can see, wind is a primary renewable resource in Michigan. Our changing climate makes us concerned about using non-renewable resources as energy. What is the government doing about it? Our legislature right now is trying to uh, remove the existing renewable portfolio standard, uh, which is only 10%, and really remove uh, incentives for, for wind and solar. Proposition 3 would mandate that 25% of energy use in Michigan would be renewable. However, this proposal did not pass. Currently, 29 states have renewable portfolio standards which require a certain percentage of energy to be renewable. If we increase the amount of renewable energy to 40% by 2035, the average American household would only be paying the equivalent to two cups of Starbucks coffee more per year. A 25 cent increase in gas tax would not only go unnoticed by the American public, but would provide funds to repair and maintain roads, railways, pipelines, and oil storage facilities. So what do we need? 
a solid plan to make energy more eco-friendly. And we've got a couple of ideas. How about you, candidates?